Hello, this is Reza Rad, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can filter your visuals or your data based on the top 10 uh, items or top or bottom end items, such as what you see top 10 customers, bottom end customers without writing any DAX code with just visual interface of Power BI Desktop. Let's see how it works. I have previously explained how you can use um, top end DAX function to do any filtering you want, create a measure. But in this video, we are talking about doing that without a measure or calculation. I have a simple model which has two tables, sales tables and customer tables. They are connected to each other using customer key. And uh, I want to create a visual uh, element like this that I have the um, customers top top 10 customers, bottom 10 customers. Let's see how it works. I'm going to clear those filters and do that again so that you can see. So here I have a um, list of all customers. Uh, and in this one as well, this is showing all customers sorted by their sales amount. Uh, and we have 18,000 customers. Now I want to only see the top 10 customers in this list. Um, to do that, you select the visual, you go to the filter section, which is the uh, visual level filter that has uh, full name and sales amount. These are the two uh, fields that is used in that visual, as you can see. Uh, but there is no filter applied on them. It is saying that is all that means uh, no filter applied on these. Now, if I want to apply filter on full name, I'll expand it. And then the filter type, I can choose the filter type that I want. I'll choose top N, which is meaning the top N filtering. Then I can specify the setting. So I'm going to have top 10 items, so I just type 10 here. But it is also important that I mention what value this top N is going to be based on. Uh, I want to do that based on sales, am sales amount, so I'll drag and drop sales amount into here. And then I apply filter. As you can see, this visual now is filtered for the top 10 customers, just like that. If I want to do bottom 10 in another visual, um, same setting, I'll go and in, choose top end. There is no bottom end option in the filter type, but once I selected the filter type in here, I can change it to bottom. And I can say bottom 10 based on sales amount again and apply filter. And it shows me the bottom end. And this is just as simple as that without writing any codes. Now, all other visuals in the page would also interact with this and filtering applies on that. Like for example, if I select mail, this would be the top 10 male customers, the top bottom 10 male customers, or top 10 female customers, bottom 10 female customers. Or I can go and select any of uh, other slicers and visuals as well. Um, and it would apply that. So this means that top 10 customers in female category and high school, which are these top 10. Sometimes, however, you see the top 10 is not really 10. Uh, or bottom bottom 10. Uh, for example, here you see it's bottom 10 customers. Uh, but in fact, um, I'll see more than 10, like there are much more than 10 items here. That is because of the, the, the tie condition. So you see all of these are pretty much the same value. We have $2.29, $3.99, and the rest is all 4.99. Uh, when there's a tie condition, top n considers all of those. Behind the scene, this is using top n DAX function. And I explained that in another article and video, which you can find the link down in the description below. Um, so by default, this will select all of those. Now, this might be your desired behavior because it returns all of those at the same level, or it might not be. You might want to get the just 10 results. In that case, you have to write a measure or a calculation that somehow returns one unique value per per customer depends on, let's say, their order date or any other criteria you want to add into that. And then when you add that to do the uh, this filter up top 10 or bottom end, then it would consider it and make it top 10 or bottom 10 only for the numbers that you want. So here it is. This is a very simple trick and very simple way to do this filtering without writing any DAX code. If you want more advanced filtering, of course, top end DAX function is in the 
list that you can use. The link down in the description below helps you to understand how to customize this filter setting, how hide or unlock it, or mm, do some other changes as well as the top end DAX filter function. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.